Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Tweezy here bringing you another YouTube video and today we're going to talk about my absence uh, and the reason why I didn't produce as much content as I wanted to after the Black Ops 3 beta. Uh, first of all, what I wanted to say is that this is a gameplay of mine from Halo 5 Guardians. It's a game, if you're not playing this game, shame on you. I know that Black Ops 3 is out, but this is honestly one of the smoothest playing games that I have played in all of my years of playing games. Uh, it is just, it's unbelievable. It makes it very hard for me to switch back and forth between this game and Call of Duty because of how good this game feels online. Like, uh, Halo 5 uses dedicated servers. It feels amazing. So, yeah, this is just a, a gameplay uh, on the map Truth. It is my first perfection gameplay. Uh, I probably won't show all of it because eventually uh, these kids kind of get mollywopped and two of them quit out so it starts just not being as much fun but wanted to talk about where i've been so let's start with the last video the last video that you guys saw on my channel was a hardcore analysis video that i had done talking about uh the call of duty black ops 3 beta specifically whether or not quick draw was something that you should be placing on your weapons and we went through and we looked at quick draw on shotguns and lmgs and all the weapons that you can actually put quick draw on um and in that video, I don't know if you remember it, I'll probably link it somewhere here, uh, but in that video, what we noticed, me and my friends uh, who play competitive Call of Duty noticed that the numbers weren't really that big. And I was doing a couple of other videos that I was working on. I was working on uh, recharge rates of thrusters with different weapons, whether or not weapons influence the way that your thrusters worked, um, looking at uh, some perks and some more attachments to your guns. And everything that we were looking at was showing that there really wasn't that big a difference between the base guns and then putting on perks. Um, and then we also realized, like, another thing I wanted to do was see whether or not sprint was affected based off of what weapon you carried. But it wasn't, which was really weird. Um, so after talking with my friends, it was a lot of fun to do, and I like doing that kind of hardcore analysis. I will be doing more of that kind of hardcore analysis moving forward into the future um but it just wasn't the right time especially given that we were talking about a beta and that a lot of the information that we were going off of would be changed as the actual game came out which it was uh, a lot of weapons tunings have been tweaked so we say tweaked yeah um so yeah i just didn't want to go out there and talk about things that really weren't having that big of an effect for a very small amount of the population. I mean, let's be honest, the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta was only out for a week. And I got the beta late because I play on Xbox One, I don't play on the PlayStation 4. So, um, yeah, now that the game's out, we'll probably be doing a lot more uh, Call of Duty content. I aim on doing more first-person shooter content, so I will be sticking with Halo and Call of Duty uh, and just talking about some of the things that they have in the games. So. But I just kind of wanted to let you know, like, where I've been. So, after that video, uh, things with work also got really intense. This dude got turned on, and he shouldn't have. Um, <laughs> I was working at the time uh, for a company, working as an editor for a, a pretty big web series. It was involving uh, a couple of StarCraft II uh, personalities and a web series involving competitive StarCraft II. Um, I don't know legally how much I'm allowed to talk about. I want to talk about it, but I don't know how much I can or how much I should talk about. Uh, but what I will say is that this is a web series that after I finished working on it, got sold to Machinima and will be airing sometime within the next year. So it's not like it's a small project that no one's going to see. This has been sold to Machinima. It is going to, we did the first season, they are going to do a season two. Like it's a pretty big project. Um, but by the time that like I really started doing like the hardcore analysis stuff like that, um, it was becoming crunch time for that project. I was working uh, eight hours a day at the office and then coming home, working for another four hours and then letting things render overnight. Uh, you know, my computer was always on. My computer was always working on these episodes, except for the 30 minutes that it took for me to drive from uh, my apartment to work and then from work back to the apartment. So, um, that was taking a lot of my time. I was getting paid for that. Uh, I had to put that as a priority, and as a result, YouTube kind of fell to the wayside. So, I didn't, like, 
I don't like saying that it did. Uh, I'm gonna work on that in the future so that I don't have that happen again. But um, that's why there hasn't really been videos on this channel. I was working on a job. I just finished, or <clears throat> I didn't just finish. I recently finished working with the company and so I have a lot more free time. I'm going back to doing YouTube videos and I'm gonna try to be uploading a, a single YouTube video a day at least uh, for the next month or so, seeing how things go. But yeah, so that's pretty much where I've been. Uh, I'm glad to be back doing YouTube. I'm also back to streaming. Uh, I will be streaming eight hours a day, uh, five, six days a week. I won't stream on Sundays because of football and I need a day off. And I probably also won't stream uh, during Florida Gator games because Florida Gators are my team. That's the only time that I probably won't stream. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, the link is uh, twitch.tv slash Nero. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you guys think should be future videos on this channel. I'd love to hear what you think. I've got some ideas for some uh, analysis type videos and stuff like that. So we'll see. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.